Uh, I am Anna Nicolaou and I work at the Language Center of the Cyprus University of Technology. And together with my colleague Maria Victoria Sule, uh, we'll uh, tell you about how this consortium has worked towards organizing uh, uh, the online training of digital competences for language teachers. So this presentation aims at uh, informing you about the review of uh, learning theories, training methodologies and training techniques most needed by language teachers and how we have used this uh, review to inform the design of an optimal model workshop for language teachers in order to help them develop their digital competencies and skills. Uh, in this effort, we have uh, used uh, a traditional narrative methodology for reviewing uh, training methodologies and techniques, uh, which means that we thoroughly and critically evaluated different methodologies and approaches. The ultimate uh, goal was to delineate an array of learning theories, methodologies and training techniques to enable us to select the ones that are most suitable for the planned online training workshops for language teachers. So in this uh, period where uh, by the consortium was working, we evaluated and selected the most suitable learning theories, training methods and techniques uh, in order to inform the design of the training workshops. The selection was informed by the results of the digital competence assessment survey for language teachers that was presented in a previous part by my colleague Daria. Uh, so we looked at uh, the uh, input that we uh, received from teachers, we acknowledged their needs, and uh, we used this information to guide us in the design of the workshop. Uh, so this uh, workshop um, is uh, designed with a transferability and replicability potential which means that it can be delivered by uh, any trainer uh, who, is, uh, who has this, uh, this information in hand. Uh, with regard to the review of learning theories and methodologies, uh, here is a slide that shows the uh, most uh, um, prominent uh, theories that we evaluated and we used to design the workshop. Uh, many of these uh, we are uh, put forward by the teachers uh, in the, who responded to our survey. So we looked at uh, social theories such as social constructivism that looks at how uh, people construct learning together in social contexts. But we also looked at more updated theories such as connectivism that uh, uh, help us understand how learning occurs in technology mediated contexts. And this is very timely now with the situation that we are all experiencing. So uh, how people learn in a, in a technology mediated context is, is really important and helped us design this workshop. The, uh, we also reviewed a number of training methods and techniques uh, that we can use to deliver the, the particular workshops. Uh, we looked at the more traditional uh, training techniques such as the short lectures uh, and presentations, but we also explored um, other training techniques such as collaborative work, working in small groups, sharing experiences, reflecting reflective work. Um, most of the uh, workshops um, uh, combine as, as, uh, different techniques in their delivery mode. Uh, this model training workshop, uh, as I said earlier, uh, was designed uh, to be uh, reproducted and, uh, and uh, transferred to different contexts. It consists of 10 units, uh, 10 interactive sessions that can be delivered either in online training workshops or in face-to-face uh, -face workshops. Um, the model training workshop targets uh, language teachers who are at an intermediate to advanced level of digital competence. The objectives of this workshop are 
drawn from the six broader categories of the DC4LT framework that was presented in the previous part by my colleague uh, Maria Perifano. Uh, now, we can elaborate uh, a, a little bit on the six objectives in the following slides. So the first objective is, is technology, it's digital competences, so it's the primary objective um, which can be uh, explained as the, uh, the goal towards improving the general overview of digital technologies used for language learning, but also to assist uh, teachers in getting some practical experience of applying those uh, selected technologies in their teaching uh, practices. The second objective is pedagogy. As, as we all know, technology alone is, is not enough and uh, teachers need to be trained towards um, using the various technologies for supporting their pedagogical goals. So the goal is to improve the overview of the pedagogical instructional methods in computer supported language learning, but also to help teachers to get some practical experience with, with that. Uh, the third uh, objective is assessment. Uh, you will see that in all six objectives there is a more theoretical uh, overview part and a, and a practical part so that the teachers who will be participating in this workshop will not only get uh, theoretical knowledge but they will also be able to use that knowledge uh, with, with practical examples. So as for assessment, the objective is to improve the knowledge of digital assessment methods and strategies and to get practical experience with some of these assessment methods via proposed activities applied in the language learning context. Uh, another goal is uh, to help teachers to um, be able to work with content with online content to develop open digital language uh, learning content, but also the workshop aims at providing teachers with some practical experiences uh, by uh, participating in specific activities in which the teachers will learn how to create, how to elaborate and how to share open digital language learning content. The fifth objective pertains to the professional development. As we heard earlier uh, in uh, Maria's uh, part, uh, profession, continuous professional development is, is very important in the teaching profession. So uh, the, an overall goal of this workshop is to help teachers to improve their knowledge of using digital tools for their own professional development and use this knowledge to communicate with other colleagues to organize their work and for self-maintenance purposes. And the final objective uh, is uh, related to learner support. So in this workshop, we do not only aim to train the teachers to use technology or to integrate technology and support it with pedagogy, but also how to support the learner in um, developing their digital and uh, ICT and soft skills. So uh, teachers will get some practical experience by participating in related hands-on sessions so as to be familiarized with not only how to support themselves but also how to support their learners in integrating technology. Now um, my colleague uh, Maria Victoria will now um, refer to the specific training units that are included in this model workshop and give you some examples of the content and objective of, of some of these. And uh, we'll give you some information about how to join them. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Anna. Yes, I am uh, Maria Victoria Sule. I also work at the Language Center of Cyprus University of Technology. So, as Anna mentioned, our model training workshop will include uh, 10 training units. And let's, uh, let's have a look at each of them. So, uh, the first training.
training unit is digital competence assessment framework and tool for language teachers. In this workshop, we aim uh, to present and analyze the different dimensions of the digital competence assessment framework that our colleague um, Maria Perifano presented and to test the applicability of the digital competence assessment tool and evaluation rubric, which will be used to assess the teacher's digital skills. The tools that will be used during these workshops are Google Docs, Google Forms, Edmodo, and the DC4LT uh, rubric. Uh, then we have another workshop, which is um, overview of training models and pedagogical approaches of call. In this workshop, we will make an overview of known training models and pedagogical approaches of call, computer assisted language learning. We will explore further the theory and test our knowledge in this area, but we will also work on creating and sharing a few practical examples which apply the different call approaches. The tools that will be used during this workshop are uh, Google Docs, Padlet, Quizlet, and Edmodo. Uh, another workshop that we will have is collaborative learning tools for enhancing language learning. In this workshop, we will explore collaborative learning tools that can be used in the process of collaborative writing for the creation of digital artifacts within the social constructionist approach, as well as tools that promote collaborative strategic reading. Uh, the main tools for this workshop are Google Docs, DocuBees, Facebook, in particular private groups, Coggle, uh, which is a uh, mind map, and ThinLink. Another workshop that we will have is, the, is, is entitled Developing Digital Narrative for Quest-Based Learning. This workshop focuses on building up practical skills for creating educational games using quest-based learning. The workshop uses a quest-based learning environment uh, developed at ITMO University. And it's important for you to know that no prior experience with game design or programming is needed to attend this workshop. The main tool that uh, will be used during this workshop is Python. Uh, we will also have a uh, a workshop uh, called Response Tools to Use in Class. This workshop aims at showcasing different tools and methodologies for using response technology in class. It can be face-to-face uh, uh, -face or online, uh, as well as enable the attendees to use the tools themselves instantly. And some of the tools that will be used during these workshops are I like, Kahoot, Mentimeter, and Padlet. Uh, we will also have a workshop on virtual reality. Uh, this workshop is entitled Immersive Technologies for Language Learning, um, where we will have a theory for language learning in VR. Also, a demonstration of language uh, VR app, uh, app. And uh, the participants will have the opportunity to practice either in groups face-to-face uh, -face or remotely. Um, uh, language VR uh, will be uh, the tool used in this workshop. Uh, it is a virtual reality application for practicing vocabulary and it was developed uh, at the IMTEL uh, lab at uh, NTNU University. Uh, we will have another workshop as well uh, um, called Cloud Technologies and the G Suite for Education. This workshop aims at familiarizing participants with cloud technologies and specifically the G Suite for Education and ways to integrate them in language learning. 
hands-on activities uh, include creating and managing classes, creating and sharing material, assignment of work, synchronous and asynchronous collaboration, communication, and feedback. The tools for this workshop are Google Classroom, G Drive, Google Docs, Google Slides, and Google Forms. We have another workshop here, it's WebQuest 2.0 activities in language classroom, discovering OERs, OEPs for foreign language learning. This workshop aims to promote the creation and sharing of language OERs. The training activities will have the format of a WebQuest 2.0 activity, which is based on collaborative and inquiry-based methodology and is facilitated by Web2 Point zero tools. Some web two zero uh, tools will be proposed to the participants to create their own OERs in different formats on the topic of safer internet for students. The main tools for this workshop are Edmodo, Google Docs, Padlet, Photon, Walkie, Easily, Genially, and uh, Tunitool. And finally, uh, the last workshop is a uh, virtual exchange. This workshop introduces a virtual exchange as an innovative teaching pedagogy based on meaningful and constructive technology enable intercultural collaboration. The workshop develops the educator's ability to facilitate their learners' participation and collaboration in culturally diverse online communities and use of digital technology. Uh, the tools for this workshop uh, are uni collaboration and uh, Erasmus Plus virtual exchange. So uh, this is uh, the model training workshop, the main workshop that we will have during uh, our workshop. And the workshops will be delivered by the members of the DC4LT consortium, mainly by uh, Maria Perifanu, by myself, Maria Victoria Sule, by Elisabetta Shklova, by Thor Talmo, by Ekaterina Praslova, uh, Jose Garcia, Mikhail Fominik, Elis Kakuli Constantino, and my colleague, Anna uh, Nicola. So, uh, the date, the date for this uh, winter uh, teacher training workshop will be announced soon. And uh, so if you want uh, to register, please check our website, dc4lt.eu, or you can also follow us uh, on Twitter or Facebook. Thank you, thank you very much for your attention.